you know, I often talk about, I often talk about like the ESG and the, like the woke economics and woke capitalism and how these companies like Disney and for, for example, keep pushing the message even when they're losing money. I did a video yesterday on Disney on how basically the last 10 movies they've released have all lost money, significant money, and they keep pushing the message. And, and now they're not even sure if the Snow White movie is they're going to even bother releasing Snow White to the big screen because people are so sick of it. How can this stuff keep working, you ask? Well, I have a perfect example of exactly why this stuff keeps working. It's because people that want to push the message, people like Bill Gates, are subsidizing it. It's, it's, it's so funny. It's such a perfect example. By the way, speaking of weirdness, up until now, this is something Bill wants too. The digital dollar or CBDC has really been nothing but a headline. But right now, things are developing at a rapid pace. It started with a sweeping executive order from the Biden administration, and now central banks are even hiring for their development. Here's the thing. A digital dollar can be used to track your purchases, control what you buy, and even seize or freeze your assets. That's why it's critical you protect your money with precious metals like gold and silver. I partnered with the top-rated precious metals company, Gold Co., because they're a great company with amazing reputation. Right now, they're giving up to $10,000 in free silver while supplies last, plus all qualified callers this week get a free Ronald Reagan silver coin. It's worth doing it just for that. Don't wait until all of your money is under Biden's control. Go to quarteringgold.com. One word, that's quarteringgold.com. Link in the description. Take the time, submit for your free gold kit. See if it's a good fit for you. Bill Gates has now put bets on Bud Light's comeback after the tech mogul bought 1.7 million worth of shares from the disgraced company's no, no, no. 1.7 million shares. He spent 100 million. Come on, get better at reporting. The Microsoft founder, 67, acquired the Bud Light shares via his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust during the second quarter of this year. The shares hold a market value of approximately $95 million, reports Tip Ranks. His investment comes as Anheuser-Busch companies are still reeling from the effects of the partnership with influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The videos and images posted by them caused nationwide, bo nationwide boycotts of the beer. This is not the first time Gates has invested in the global beer industry after making a much more sizable purchase months ago. So you have Bill Gates, again, essentially subsidizing it. Bill Gates invested a billion dollars in Heineken stock at the onset of the Bud Light controversy after their disastrous partnership with Mulvaney. He acquired 10.8 million shares on February 17th, according to Netherlands Authority for Financial Markets filing. And earlier than that, in 2007, Gates made a $392 million purchase in a stake of FEMSA, whose brewery was sold to Heineken in 2010. Bud Light has seen its sales plummet even further amid ongoing backlash to its disastrous collaboration with influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The beer giant lost its place as the number one beer to a Modelo Especial due to the controversy, a position it held for over 22 years. Now, what's interesting is, you know, it could just be, he could just be getting, trying to get that dead cat bounce or whatever. You know, he thinks, oh, Bud Light's going to come back, so I'm going to invest in it. If you want to put a tinfoil hat on, though, it's awfully interesting, right? Buying 1.7 million shares when the stock when the stock's at an all-time low. I mean, not an all-time, but a six-month low. Year to date, down five point five percent. Past six months, down eight percent. Just this last month, it's down one percent. Last five days, it's down another four percent. It keeps tanking. Now today it was up a little bit. Yeah, thirty whole cents, probably based on. Bill Gates, $1.7 million, $1.7 million shares. I mean, if you had bet against it and shorted the stock, now, now people are trying to reinvest. Now, this looks like a big uptick, but it's just 30 cents. 
We look at a one year, one year, it's still up 16% over the last year. So if you had bought the stock in 2022, you're still feeling pretty good. Even though it's given back a huge, huge amount, you know, stocks only go up. That's what they say anyway, right? If I were going to buy, it's probably not a terrible time to buy, but it is an interesting thing. You know, it's an interesting thought experiment to think about. It's like, oh, this is, you know, if you're BlackRock or if you're Bill Gates, you make sure that, you know, companies push the message and then you bail them out with a hundred million dollar investment. The Seattle Char Seattle based charitable foundation reportedly holds assets valued to the tune of $70 billion. Anheuser-Busch is still reeling five months after St. Louis, Missouri based brewer tapped Dylan Mulvaney to promote Bud Light on their social media, a marketing campaign that ended in disaster and knocked the beer from the number one spot. Anheuser-Busch's share price has slipped nearly 9% over the past six months and is down 3% to 5608 in just the last five days. A result of a national boycott, a Bud Light that has shown no signs of slowing down. Now I've talked about, you know, I think that it's going to get worse. I actually think it's going to get worse during football season because people are going to see empty, you know, Bud Light lines at NFL stadiums. They're going to see empty. Um, they're going to make fun of their buddies. Modelo Especial, the nation's new king of beers, continues to outsell Bud Light. Last week, it widened its lead in year-to-date sales over Bud Light, accounting for 8.4% of beer sales in stores throughout August 19th, compared to Bud Light's 8.2% share. Quote, more consumers are buying Modelo Especial and more frequently and in greater quantities before the summer ends, Williams said. The head of the consultancy told the Post on Monday. However, Bill Gates is betting that Modelo won't hold the top spot for long. It's not the first time the Microsoft founder has, you know, done this type of investments. You know, Gates purchased shares from Mexico's FEMSA brewery. You know, it's possible. You know, it just could be a smart investment. It could be nothing more than that, you know. Bud Light has been clawing back to win its, back its core audience and distance itself further from an ill-fated tie-up with Dylan Mulvaney by releasing new ad catering to its core audience of football fans which also was roasted soundly on the internet. The commercial from longtime National Football League sponsor shows fans gearing up for upcoming season by preparing meals, drinking Bud Light, wearing replica jerseys at bars, and tailgating events, all played to the tune of Ada James' a Sunday kind of love. And the other thing you got to understand too is like, Anheuser-Busch is so big, a lot of times you might go to a sporting event or a music concert or something, and it's like literally the only option there. Like you have to car bar it and drink water when you get in there because every product that the, in, the, in the place is contracted to Anheuser-Busch. There's certain sales that just are never going to, you know, be able to be hurt. Bud Light's attempt to win back those who have boycotted the brand was met with some derisive comments on social media. You know, of course, we know Captivate, the marketing firm that hired Dylan, had fired more than a dozen employees just days after Top Brass uh, boasted about a lavish junket to an award ceremony on the French Riviera. In addition, other beer brands other, under Anheuser-Busch's umbrella were hurt by Mulvaney's promo, promo and has lost, have lost market share. Budweiser itself sales down 10.3%. Michelob Ultra and another Anheuser-Busch brand has seen <coughs> some improvement with a 0.4% increase in sales. Other non-Anheuser-Busch related brands are stealing market share. Miller Lite grew 18.5%, Coors Light grew 21.6%, and Yingling grew 19.7%. I'm not sure that they're ever going to bring these people, they're never going to be bringing these uh, people that boycotted them back, but like Anheuser-Busch is so big, they, and they have so many, like I love Cutwaters, I was drinking all these Cutwaters, like oh they're great, I could get like four Cutwaters and be pr feeling pretty good. And I'm like, oh, dang it, it's owned by Anheuser-Busch. Like, it just never ends with these guys. And um, we'll see. Oh, it's going back down. We'll see. They're not going to close down, but it will be interesting to see if they make a change in leadership. I'm assuming their CEO has some sort of uh, timeline in which he's expected to uh, turn things back around from a sales perspective. Their stock is not increasing. 
in fact, it's still trending down over the last six months. I mean, over the last month, it's kind of been all over the place, really. But, you know, the last five days, it's been trending specifically down. So it's going to be interesting to see just how many people like Bill Gates. I wonder if, you know, BlackRock's going to invest more or, you know, all these other Chinese companies, are they going to invest more? It's going to be interesting to see how it all shakes out for Bud Light. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to see them continue to suffer, to be honest with you.